in Europe, coming your way. Right, well, numbers 5.653. That's what this car has run earlier on. We were gobsmacked when it went in the 5.7. Yeah, the funny thing about it as well, I've got to mention, is that he doesn't run quite as quick as he normally does to the eighth mile. But obviously, he's not running eighth mile. He has, they have to make the car live all the way down the racetrack from start line to finish line. Uh, it's a little bit trickier because you can't throw as much at it as you normally would be doing. However, the numbers that come up on the scoreboard are just equally as jaw dropping, aren't they? Yeah. Did you? Yeah, you didn't miss this earlier, did you? No, no, uh, I'll, I'll let's get our photo, photograph the screen if you remember. Well, to coin, coin a phrase from the great Victor Bray, uh, we're not going to be trying to go any slower. No. So they're not going to come out here to try and back up what they did. They're only going to try and go quicker. Mind you, it's a lot warmer out there, but then the track's got some heat in it as well. Boy, it is boy, warmer, but the one thing, heat. the one advantage that they've, well, they've got lots of advantages with the type of car it is, but the other big advantage they've got is they've been over racing in the States all season last year. They've been to an awful lot of races. As a result, they've got a tremendous amount of experience on all yeah. sorts of different racetracks and setting the car up to do what it did earlier on today. So, Penny Erickson in the, uh, in the door making a few last minute adjustments. Says to Matthias, go get. Them. I'm not being rude. I don't know why you're pointing the car in the straight direction, Billy, because it ain't going to go anywhere like that. <laughs> right, well, if you tuned in to the coverage where either you are in the world, Dick yeah. Cost, I bet he's watching this. Yeah, if and you want to get online and bet, it's probably too late for him. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go then. Here we go then, Matthias Falken, we're the Blackbirds. Point eight nine sixty foot 5.53! Unbelievable! 262 <laughs> miles an hour. Ladies and gentlemen, that is just beyond pellet, my friend. Come here. Now then, I want you to give the biggest cheer you can. This is his crew chief, everybody. He's the guy that just did that. Now Unbelievable. Well. Short I, guess, I guess you're kind of loving the new racetrack as well. Oh, yes. I love it a lot. <laughs> Just one moment. Give us the numbers, Colin. Are you ready for this? Go on then. 60 foot point eight nine. 60 foot point eight nine. Yep. Oh, it's just been on the screen. No, hang on. I, I, I did right, take a photograph of it. Uh, he was 207 miles an hour at the 8th. With? Uh, just getting it back on screen now. Right. My apologies. Here it's we right. go. Uh, 200, no, that was the earlier run. No worry. <laughs> anyway, you went 207 at the eighth mile as well, and obviously we saw the number on the top end, so... Yeah, 367, 367 to the eighth. 367 at the eighth as well. I mean, that's only a tenth of what you normally run just for eighth mile. Yeah, it is. And, if, and to go 089 in 60 foot with 411 in the rear end, that's crazy. That's incredible. That's how, thick, that's how sticky the track is. Yeah. It hooks it up and then it doesn't spin anything, it just goes... I cannot say, I've, I've been drag racing for a lot of years, all of my life, and I can honestly say I've never seen anything quite as impressive or as amazing as that. Sir, if I had a hat on, I would take it off to you. Congratulations to the whole team. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Penny Erickson and Matthias Falken, everybody, come on. It's not often you see.